Over the coming months, we'll be making a series of podcasts for you to learn to understand how to connect with spirit. We'll start at the basics, learning how to ground yourself, learning how to be positive, and learning how to stay with a positive spirit. We certainly don't want to be mucking around with things that we don't want to get involved with, such as negative things. So we'll stay away from that. We'll learn to accept it, we'll learn to understand it, we'll also learn to set it free. So that enables us to keep positive and focused on the beauty and the glory that the Spirit can provide for us. We'll learn how to understand to be free. And that's a really important thing with a person who's felt controlled or manipulated throughout their life. You can release all of those feelings and those harsh uh, inside experiences and let them go by understanding them as an adult. It does take work and it does take a lot of discipline, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm a normal Kiwi bloke just like you. And if you're not a Kiwi, well, welcome to the fray, because New Zealand's a great place and the podcasts will be made all over New Zealand. I hope you enjoy the scenery. I hope you enjoy the knowledge that is given from the spirit. And I hope you understand that it will take a big effort on your part to be able to connect. The most important thing with connection is learning to understand to trust, to have faith, and to understand that it is the love that comes forward from the spirit that creates a beautiful blessing. Without faith, trust, and love, it's going to be very hard to be able to connect. I know you've got it inside of you, you just have to believe. The podcasts that we will, we will be developing for you have been created to help you take easy steps, nice and slowly, at your pace, to enjoy the venture and the wisdom, the excitement and the thrill of the connection of spirit. It is a positive experience, it is wonderful and it's just it's simply a joy to be having in your life. My life is incredibly changed. I've certainly started off uh, helping people in back streets and places where I never thought I'd read for them. On trains when I was in Europe, in between carriages, on planes, just wherever I went, the blessing of spirit was there. I must say that we have to respect our people. And if you can learn to understand that there's a time and a place for spirit, you'll understand that then therefore the respect comes forward and it shines out from inside of you. Learning to respect others and of course spirit then it helps you become a stronger, more vibrant, solid person. I'm currently standing at my favourite location in my country. This is a lake called Lake Tarawera. And behind me is the mountain called Mount Tarawera. And inside of the lake is a very special person's ashes. And my grandfather passed when I was eight years old. Prior to his passing, I used to see spirit people turn up at my house, inside my bedroom, outside the bedroom, uh, at school, in places where I thought, what's going on? For me, it was very difficult to understand. And when my grandfather passed, he taught me how to understand what those people in spirit were saying. Throughout the series of podcasts that we're making for you, we'll start with the basics of grounding ourselves. And that means to learn how to pray or use affirmations for your benefit, how to learn to stay focused and positive, and how to connect with spirit. It sounds easy, and it simply is. It's your attitude that needs to be adjusted. I hope you enjoy the podcasts. I hope you understand that it will take discipline and will take a lot of time with yourself to connect with the spirit. It doesn't come just willy nilly, it happens because you make the effort. The spirit people make an effort to meet you 50%, you make the other 50% up to make 100 and there you've got your connection. It will take time and it will take a bit of work but it's a lot of fun, it's exciting and every day you see the miracles that are in front of you. Spirit do put them in front of you but are your eyes open to see that? And throughout the series of podcasts, we'll be able to show you how to understand what those signs and what the feelings are to be able to teach you what they're trying to say. So for the future, I hope you enjoy the podcasts. I hope you enjoy what Spirit have to offer for you. And I hope you enjoy learning from them as much as what I have. We'll see you again soon.